You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, welcome to Adorama TV iPad app reviews. I'm Mark Wallace. Well today we're going to take a closer look at an app called Photo Toaster. It's an iPad app that allows you to retouch your images, adjusting color and tonality and add borders and all kinds of fun things, and then share them with friends and family. So let's take a closer look at Photo Toaster. Let's dive right into Photo Toaster. Now when you open this up, you get a bunch of options here. You can open your recent projects. You can dive into your photo library. You can take a picture on your camera. You can copy and paste stuff in. There's just all kinds of different ways to get stuff into Photo Toaster. And there's all kinds of tips and email support. There's different products. You get the idea. It's just really easy to dive in. I'm going to uh, jump right here and just show you. Here's my recent edits. And so I was up late playing around with this. Um, and looking to see all this good stuff here. But what I want to do is open up a photo from my photo library and we'll start from scratch. So I'll go in here on my camera roll and then I'm going to go into uh, this picture of my friend Craig here. I shot with the uh, 5D Mark III when we were just hanging out. So there's Craig. Now what I can do here, all kinds of different things. On the bottom left hand corner there's this little globe. When I click on that I have these global changes and so if you just want to really quickly edit a photo and get it to a certain look you can just click on that and then you can scroll through here and there are all kinds of different things like this one right here that's called Purple Haze or I can do Lomo which adds a border and colors it and all that kind of stuff and on the very very bottom left hand corner we have this little uh, rotating wheel here and if you click that you'll get different presets so um, your recent presets, the basic presets, the deluxe presets and then the supreme presets and you can just sort of go through those and then scroll through and look for one that you like and then you can just click on it and it'll set everything exactly according to that preset. So uh, if you just want to dive in and get something really, really fast, you can do that. So let me go in here and I will um, put this on Deluxe and I'll go old school. So okay, there's old school Craig. So and then I can click this once and I can see that photo, which is really nice. I can zoom in on this so I can see exactly what's going on with the photo. I can zoom out, get the idea, very, very basic techniques. Now these back buttons, they look like this, so I can click on that, Oop, that goes away. If I want more control while I have it, I can click on this little uh, icon here and what that will do is it'll allow me to change the exposure, the color temperature so I can make this go up or down, make that more blue or more uh, amber. I can change the exposure on this so I can have manual control if I want to. I can also go in here, um, I can hide that, click that down and if I don't want to have the uh, manual controls I can just click on this for exposure and I have some presets for just that type of uh, adjustment. So instead of doing everything, it will just do some presets on the contrast and uh, the, the sliders that I just showed you. So the exposure, temperature, the shadows, contrast, things like that. So I'm going to put that back to the little film strip. I'll click that to turn that away. The effects and all of these other things uh, happen the exact same way. They act the same exact way. So I can either use the presets that they have for the effects and so I can do a desaturation or I can do a black and white, I can do whatever I want there. I can do any of that kind of stuff or if I want total control I can click on this and I can control the saturation, the color filler there, I can uh, sharpen or unsharp that, I can do uh, adjustments to the mid-tones. You get the idea, even cross-processing is built in and if I hit this it takes it back to what I did before those adjustments and that's something I forgot to mention there's always an undo right at the very top there's an undo so you can just keep going back and undo and undo and undo also a redo if you get lost along the way up here there's a question mark and you can see uh, all the help information and something else I'll show you in a little bit so we know about the effects the exposure control this little starry thing here what that allows you to do is change the vignette and so again you can either use the film strip, uh, film strip so you have uh, built-in presets so this is a small vignette around here extra large black um, vignette or I can go into the manual controls and adjust my vignette manually and I can control the softness, uh, softness and all that kind of stuff and then there's one more thing over here this little checkery board and what this allows you to do is to add textures so I can add a canvas on there and you can see that looks really cool again I can go in here click these sliders and I have manual control over what's happening and so I can scroll through here choose a different texture change the intensity or I can go back and choose one of the presets now let's look at the last thing right here this is for borders and so there are a bunch of different borders that are presets that are built in and just like all the other ones I can click on the sliders and manually adjust the width of the border and the style of the border or undo it altogether to get rid of the border or I can just use something that's built in, which is what I sort of like to do. All right, let me show you one more thing that I think is really cool here. 
and that's this little question mark. So let's say I want to know some information, some EXIF data about this image. I can click on Photo Info, and it will uh, show me a, an abbreviation of the ISO, the lens, the aperture value, the shutter speed, if a flash fired, if there's uh, geotagging on that. That just sort of shows up the name of my camera and the resolution. But watch this, I can click All Data, and there is a ton of information that's in there. So all the EXIF data that's available, you can see through this app. So it just goes on and on. There's lots and lots of stuff in there. So that's something I love about this application. Let me show you one more thing. This right over here, this little arrow, if I click that, I can save this to a bunch of different things. Uh, obviously my photo library, I can send it to email, send it to Facebook and Flickr and Twitter and Tumblr and all those things that we know. Also notice SMS there, which is really cool. I can air print. I can also do something else. I can send it to an app. So let me click on that. And this is going to render out, in other words, make sure it's going to save a temporary file. And this is going to look at all the different apps that are available that I can use. So I've got Halftone, which allows me to send it over there. I can even click More Apps. This will open up a web page to show me all the different compatible apps. There are probably 40 different apps that you can use. But let me show you what happens when I click Halftone. It will take that image, it'll throw it into Halftone, which is this really fun uh, comic booky thing, and I can go in there and I can start doing all the stuff that Halftone does. So if you have a couple of apps that you really like and you like how they work together, and I'll let this uh, pop in here, you can see that in Halftone I've got now this comic booky kind of thing. So if you have a couple apps that you like that work together, uh, that's something that is really uh, nice about this app because you can pop back and forth between those. So let me go back to Photo Toaster and it allows you to do that just through this different interface. It's an app that I really like, it's easy to use, and it's really inexpensive. Well, that's Photo Toaster. I love the feature where you can throw it out to other apps like Halftone. It's a really nice thing, and uh, it's an app that I really enjoyed playing with. Remember, if you have an iPad app that you're interested in or you have one that you'd like us to review, send your suggestion to me at askmark at adorama.com. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.